Hi everyone, this is Diana Palm from dianapalm.com and today we're going to be discussing the way to get best results manifesting using a dream board or a God box. Which way is more effective? The dream board versus the God box. Dream boards are the same thing as a vision board and I've been using them both for years and I have a lot of success using them. However, I've also had extraordinary results using the God box. And so today I'm gonna to break it down for you. We're gonna show you how you can make the most effective dream board or vision board for yourself and how you can actually step into the best life for yourself by using tools such as a dream board or God box or both. I've been known to make vision boards and dream boards for a long time and I love the process of it because it's a way to get crystal clear on what you desire to have in your life and it helps you visualize what it is. So dream boards and vision boards actually work with your subconscious mind. And what is the most important thing to do is to induce feelings behind the desired end result. So when you go to make your own dream board or vision board, it's very important to know specifically what it is you want. It's a really good idea to get crystal clear by writing your ideas down on a piece of paper first and then go online and start hunting down images and pictures that represent these things for you. You can actually look through a pile of magazines and flip through those looking for pictures that you can select to represent what you want on your board as well. But first start by having a very crystal clear idea of what it is that you want in your life and what it looks like. Some people like to put words on their dream board, but words are very, very vague. So if you're trying to bring love into your life, simply putting the word love on your dream board is not going to really represent what love looks like for you. And it's not a clear enough message for your subconscious mind to start bringing it to you. So what you wanna do is actually find a picture that evokes emotion in you every time you look at it that truly represents the type of love that you wish to have in your life, that you wish to have as an experience for yourself. By finding pictures like that and pasting them on your vision board, every time your eyes scan that board, your subconscious repeats that image of what it should look like and most importantly, what it will feel like to have it. So let's stay away from putting words on your vision board and stick to the pictures that evoke feelings. That's actually gonna bring you the best results with any type of manifesting and especially with vision boards and dream boards. Make sure you stay till the end because we are gonna be discussing the God box to figure out which way would be better for you in terms of what you're manifesting in your life right now. Now, when you are creating your dream board, I like to start with a large piece of construction paper this actually has a hard backing on it and I just picked it up at Walmart for about a dollar. Um, and these are pretty nice because they're sturdy. The dream boards I've made in the past have been on large construction type paper, but without the backing. And what happens is they kind of get wrinkled or bent and the pictures start to lose their glue. And so everything kind of comes rolled up. The pictures that you glue onto your board don't really stay in place long term. So I have found that I get better results using something like this that does have a hard backing. It's just gonna help provide a better surface for you to glue to, and it's gonna keep everything in place longer. When you think about what to add to your dream board, consider one to five years. These are the types of images that you wanna have. Therefore, you do wanna have a board that's gonna be around for a while. The other thing you're gonna need is a simple glue stick and some scissors. I have experienced such success using dream boards. I remember the first time I made a dream board right after I watched The Secret. And I remember putting a book on there saying I was a published author. And of course, at that time I wasn't, and it seemed totally unrealistic and out of reach and not like something I really was on my pathway to achieve. But shortly after that, I actually did write a book. I did get it published from Llewellyn. So I had my book published from a real publisher. It was the first time that this really happened where I thought, wow, that was just an idea. I thought, yeah, I would like to be a published author, but I didn't even know what I was gonna write on. I didn't know I had a book inside of me that needed to come out. And I hadn't been writing as a career prior to that. But once I decided I did wanna become a published author, 
it all came together for me. One of the first things that I noticed is that I began to meet all kinds of other authors. Some were self-published, many were published by traditional publishing houses. I began to feel like this was absolutely normal. Oh my gosh, all my friends, they have all written books, they're all published authors. And I realized that this was the way that my mind was showing me that I was stepping into the energy, surrounding myself with the energy, and that that was becoming extremely normal so that I could bring this forward and just focus on the work. And I didn't have to overcome something in my mind that would tell me I wasn't good enough, I wasn't ready, I wasn't at that level, I wasn't a professional writer, or any of the other things that your mind can make up to stop you and prevent you from achieving. So my first step was deciding I wanted to become a published author and putting that on my dream board. The second step took care of itself. I automatically just through talking to people realized that so many of my friends were authors and then more and more came around me and more and more that became my normal. Then suddenly I wrote a book and had it published. And now moving forward just a few years, I have two published books that are out there in the market with traditional publishers. And I enjoy writing. I write columns, I write articles, I write blogs. I do a lot of creative writing. So this is actually something that I called forward for myself through the use of a dream board. Some other successes that I've had have been travel. I often put the places that I desire to travel on my dream board. I put an airplane with a little map, and then I put the things that I want to do when I arrive there. I really visualize what is it that's drawing me to this place? What kind of experience do I want to have when I'm there? And then I find pictures that truly represent that and really call to me as an experience that I want to have. I can't even tell you how many times it has really seemed out of reach based on my financial situation at the time, my family situation, the budget, you know, is it gonna be possible with kids in the house and all of that stuff. But I can tell you that every single time, travel has been one of the easiest things for me to manifest, even when it has seemed like it was impossible. Travel is one of the most fun, exciting things to experience. And I think it's because we have more feelings invested in the feel-good sense of what travel can provide for us that we're able to actually manifest that one a lot easier than manifesting a new job or a new opportunity for ourselves. So again, it's the feeling level that counts. It's the feelings that really attracts it into our life. It's the feelings that really does connect our manifestation to us and bring it into our physical reality. So while you're making your vision board, I want you to find those pictures that draw on your emotions. I want you to find feel good pictures that motivate you, inspire you, really, really exemplify the kind of experience that you want to have. It's really important that when you're making your dream board that you're feeling the energy, the excitement, the enthusiasm, and all these wonderful high level emotions while you're putting this energy together on your board. I mean, if you're low energy or you're feeling frustrated, set it aside and do it later. You really wanna be in the right mindset when you're making your dream board because this is the energy and the experience that you're doing for yourself that will really help you magnetize all of these experiences and things to you. So it's very important to be high vibrational. Pour yourself a glass of wine, turn on some good music, have some fun with this and really get creative, really express yourself. Pretend that this is like your magic board, right? And you're just gonna, whatever you put on the board is gonna come true. So play with it, have fun with it. This will keep your energy very high and this is the magic ingredient of giving you the very best results for creating dream boards and manifesting the life you want. So go ahead and find your images now and let's start building out our dream boards. Okay, so now that we've completed a new vision board for me, I have some items on here pertaining to my career, where I would like to see that expand to. 
I'd like to have some more books published and I would like to be a bestseller. I want to do some more traveling to some specific areas, some more free time with friends, partnership, losing some weight, having a little more fit tummy, um, doing some boating. I would like to purchase a home, meet more shaman from different parts of the world and get to work with them and have more success with my online business and have more subscribers. And actually, you can help me with that. You can share this video with friends and encourage them to subscribe so I can reach my magic number, which I will put on here. Let's get 100,000 subscribers. That would be an absolutely fantastic goal. So write your goals down just like I did. Get your pictures in place to really bring forward the things that you want to have in your life. And then put this somewhere that you will see it very regularly, every day, multiple times. Now, another thing that you can do if you don't have the wall space or if you're on the go and you don't spend a lot of time in one location where you can have that is to create a digital dream board. I like to use Canva for this and I'll put the link down below. There is a free version of Canva and you can select the pictures you want, whatever size format you want to. You can actually add it as your Facebook banner. You can put it on Pinterest and create a board. You can create a brochure or a Pinterest size dream board and then keep it as a JPEG. Keep it on your smartphone as a screensaver or on your desktop, laptop as a background. So making it digital makes it accessible for you to actually see as many times as you would like to per day. And that is actually the most dynamic piece of helping your vision board come into reality because you are putting those images in your mind over and over and over. And again, that's why you wanna make sure that you have the best images possible that evoke emotion, that bring out joy and make you feel elated and happy every time you see them. So what is it with the God Box and what is the major difference? Now, I have used many God Boxes over the years, which is simply any type of box that you put your prayer requests into. And once you've done that, you just release them and you don't look at them, you don't read them, you just turn it over to God or the universe. I actually made this particular box after listening to one of my very, very favorite people on the planet, Esther Hicks, using my own technique as the God box, which I've used for years. I've added some of the other principles to it that she uses. And I put the note on here, whatever is contained in this box is. And at this end, it actually says universal manager. And the thought behind it is the same exact concept that I've always used. Once you put your items in here that you request to have in your life, the universe, God, your angels, the whole spirit world can actually help you to bring it into your life. So the dream board is designed to visually see and implement ideas in your subconscious and the God box is designed to turn it over and then allow God, the universe, source energy, all your angels and saints to bring this in for you. The results that I've experienced through working with a dream board are more consistent but may take more time. So it is a good idea to have that running in the background at all times, knowing that this energy is going out there and bringing it back into you, but it may be a slower process. So keep the dream board handy, definitely do use it, but also I would recommend using the God box as well. Some of the requests that I've actually put inside this box have happened immediately. I'm not talking about one year, one month. I'm talking about the very day that I put it into the box. One example of that is that I wanted to get my car paid off. I was not in a position financially to pay off the other one and get a brand new loan. I wanted to get my ex-husband off the title and I wanted to get a lower interest rate and lower payment. It had been an impossibility for me and it really didn't look like anything had changed financially or in any other way to make this occur. So one morning I sat down, I took a picture of my car and I took a stamp that said paid off, put it on the picture of my car and put it into my God box. And I made a resolution that day. I would just like a lower interest. I would like lower payments and I would like it in my name and I visualized my other car was paid off. 
Well, then I just went and decided to go look at cars. And what happened that very day is I drove home in a brand new car that was just like the one that I paid off with a lower interest rate, a lower monthly payment, and it was solely in my name. This should have maybe been impossible to do. And that's one of the reasons why I like to say, use all the power of the universe to help you achieve your desired results. What else is possible? What are some of the things that you would like to straighten out in your life, whether it be financially, your living situation, more opportunities in your career, relationships, put these things in your God box, the things that you really feel hot about, the things you're really focused on getting done immediately, put those in your God box and the things that you want to achieve and draw to you within the next year to five years, put those on your dream board and wait to see what kind of magic happens. I actually can't wait to see what kind of results you get from this because I have a lot of fun playing with this and every time my life seems too ordinary, I make sure to put some more pictures in my God box and some more pictures on my dream board <laughs> and I allow my life to continue to unfold in really fun, meaningful ways and it helps me to really know that I'm creating the life that I really wanna have. I'm actually creating it by design based on my interests, my desires, and what really lights me up. And if you're interested in also creating a life that you really love to live, I highly recommend that you use both the Dream Board and the God Box. If you would like some help manifesting, if you want more specific lesson in how to get through manifesting and how to get that really clear perspective and how to really, really know what it is that you want so that you know what to focus on, make sure you check out the link below this video because I do have an online healing program for only $99 right now that actually takes you through this and gives you like a 30 page guide and how to really get clear on what it is that you wanna create so that you can begin to focus in on it and bring it to you. It also includes a meditation and a healing to remove the most common blocks to manifesting your dreams. So check that out below if you wanna manifest your dreams, if you would like some help clearing the most common blocks and limits in your subconscious mind so you can manifest with ease and manifest your dreams, then check out that link below. Thanks so much, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would really love to hear all about your experiences, your successes, and what you're putting on those dream boards and God boxes. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share me with a friend. Help me reach my 100,000 subscribers. I know it's a big goal, but I'm pretty sure I can do it. I would love your help and support in helping me to achieve one of my goals on my dream board. Help me reach 100,000 subscribers by sharing this video with your friends. If you know of anyone that could benefit from their own dream board or their God box and want some help and encouragement in how to make the most effective one, for best manifesting results, please share my video. And I'd really like to thank you for being here and watching. Have a wonderful day, everyone.